Yeah, so I'm back and we have a lovely model named Gabby who I will be creating a bit more of a fun look here. So especially utilizing uh, various different type of texturizing uh, techniques throughout the hair and also precision cutting as well. And really strong, almost concave layering techniques just to really maintain a little more length in the perimeter. So I'm going to get started just in a few moments here. Just waiting for a few of you to join us. And uh, you'll see that especially what I'll be doing is really creating a very strong shape, really focusing on my elevation. So, um, so tonight I have my favorite camera person. Her name is Jennifer. She's gonna be your voice. So please, I welcome any questions you might have uh, during this uh, haircut tutorial. And of course I have the gorgeous Gabby here, so who, who graciously volunteered to have her haircut tonight. And uh, yeah, and also we did a little bit of like a nice coloring technique uh, prior. So now, just to let you know, so I kind of pre-cut the one side so far. Um, let me just turn her around this way. So really you can see it's like more of like a shorter internal area than going keeping all the length that she had in the external or the perimeter area. I also worked with a bit of disconnection, so a little bit offset. So you'll see, so this here is working with disconnection where the, te the areas will not technically meet or join. So I'm gonna be doing a bit more of a stronger uh, triangle shape, which is triangle means from shorter in the back, longer in the fringe, so. And uh, yeah, so I'm very excited. I mean, she's got great hair to work with. And then I might even, you'll see when I do the texturizing, I might even use a bit of the hair cutting razor just to really kind of give a bit more of like a, a shattered feeling to the perimeter. So yeah, so, so let me get started with the hair cutting. But as you see, I've also drawn almost like a head diagram up here on the board. So for anyone joining us a little bit later, you know, I will be recapping. So you'll see that uh, I'll be able to recap and really kind of make sure that I'm able to, to be able to share with you uh, my, my knowledge and my, almost my thought process for creating this haircut. So, all right then. So let me get started here. So I'm gonna slowly just tilt. I'm gonna be working straight in the front panel here. And I will be working with, working, maintaining, shorter length throughout the in internal area than maintaining the length throughout here. So, still working with vertical sections, going following the shape of the head here, and I'm literally pulling it straight out from the head, so 90 degrees. So I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna be doing little to no over direction whatsoever. The reason why, in Gabby's case, I really wanna give them more like a slimmer effect and also to really reduce as much weight as possible. So I'm not gonna be doing really any over direction in this case here. So by taking vertical sections, vertical sections, we tend to use it in layering to really kind of like be able to flatten down as much weight as possible. So, here we go. Have some messages and people saying hello. Hello, Tracy saying hello from Central Wisconsin. Oh wow, cool. And um, Susan Doyle saying hi from Southwest College, Ennis, Ennis Killen. Oh cool. A lot of people watching. Oh, that's great. So, I mean, like I said, I was so excited. Uh, so we came down from Edinburgh, Scotland just to do this for you. Uh, so we organized a really cool looking model. Like I said, she, her name's Gabby. She's a school teacher. You know, so it's a summer holiday, so basically she's away from the little kids, so she's actually able to have really kind of have a bit more fun with her hair. So, and then of course when she gets back to school time, then of course, you know, she, she can have a bit more of a, a conservative look if she needs to, you know. I'm not saying that this is going to be so radical, but this is just going to be a slightly bit more contemporary feeling to the hair. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to continue still working vertical with my sections. I'm really just watching my elevation. Oh, Christina Dino says, I love shortcuts and the way you explain. <laughs> oh, great, thank you so much there. I mean, for me, myself, personally, it's like, you know, when we've been, you know, really focusing on education for the last over 20 years, 
And you know, from my background working at Vidal Sassoon as an educator in Los Angeles and also the London Advanced Academy, it's been great that like, you know, they've given me such knowledge as an educator to be able to deliver and share with my students. So we were recently just in America. Uh, so we were in, on the East Coast uh, providing education. Uh, we were in New Jersey and uh, New York and, uh, and we actually were even in Washington DC. So we're hopefully be going back in, um, I believe, possibly uh, September, October area, possibly and to be able to go back so for anyone that's interest, interested in salon training just let us know so um, i am continuing here so you can see i'm maintaining all that length in the perimeter here so in a moment i'm going to be showing you as you'll see when i'm going to continue going into the back and you'll see it's just going to be a nice you know a nice feeling here so making sure my sections are clean Alice in St. Wales and Beverly St. Louis from Miami. Oh, Miami. I know we have, a, we have a good friend in Miami who has owns a salon named Sean Donaldson. And uh, he, was, he was actually my manager at, uh, when I worked for Sassoon at Washington, D.C. And uh, oh, God bless him. I put him through his paces there as a manager. I was a complete, complete train wreck. And uh, God bless him. You know, he looked after me, so. Okay, so I'm gonna continue. I'm really gonna watch my elevation, make sure. So what's controlling my elevation is my elbow here. By lifting my elbow up, it actually increases, especially the angle and also my elevation. Going through here. So it's just like a really fun look that I can be able to give to Abby here or to help create. So there's multiple ways you can do it. Um, I could also have done this with my hair cutting razor. Uh, the hair cutting razor I actually I bought from uh, Hairbrain <laughs> themselves, Hairbrain Pro. And I use my feather razors. Uh, tonight I'll be using more of like a possibly a texturizing one. Because that's all I'm really trying to create. So with the length, I will be using my scissors. My scissors are um, Oka Secure scissors. For, uh, they are 4.5 inch. And uh, yeah, so I like the more shorter scissors when I'm doing you know, these type of creations here. When I'm doing my barbering, yeah, I might be going for something a little bit, a little bit longer. So uh, I'd like to welcome, if you have any questions whatsoever, please you know, shout them out. Um, but yeah, if you like what I'm doing as well, give a, you know, give a little heart, smiley face or anything, it'd be great. So I'm going to continue. Through here. Now if you notice as well, with certain type of length, depending on the length of the hair, um, I always say, as I'm getting older, you know, so my hand gets a little shaky, uh, so what I like to do is, if you see, I keep my small finger on the head, balance myself, so it's a great little way to do it. So, so in case if you're worried about like maintaining uh, your balance or your elevation, it's a great little trick to do that. So, okay, I'm gonna continue working my way around the head. Once again, the head, the hair was just pulled straight out from the head, kind of like a clock. The reason why is to reduce the weight as much as possible. So, Ooh. Christina says, nice drawing. I understand how you cut by just looking at it. Oh, perfect, perfect. So what I'll do is just, I'm glad Christina, thank you very much for bringing that up. So just to let you know, so the arrows is where the angle, you're pulling it, or the elevation. You see the blues of the blue dots are the cutting angles or the cutting line. The green is the sections, and the red dots in between the sections. That means it's 90 degrees. So I'm being pulling the hair straight out from the head. If you were doing any over direction, there might be little arrows between. So, so that's uh, kind of like my expanded form from the profile uh, way of looking at things. Uh, but you'll see when I'm creating the top in a moment. You'll see, you'll see what I'm going to be able to do there. 
I might play around with a little bias hair cutting. So we'll see. So we're going to have a bit of fun with that. Beverly asked if um, this look, uh, if it would this look would work uh, well for curly hair for curly hair. Oh yeah, definitely. But now the one thing is Beverly. So is this? Sorry, I like my whiteboard. So just remember, if that's a curl, we have three areas where you can cut it. So if that's coming from the scalp or the skin. So if you cut it before the barrel of the curl, the hair will go straight. If you cut it inside the barrel of the curl, you're gonna have like a, like a flick, like a hook. So we wanna make sure we're kind of cutting it past the barrel of the curl to maintain curl. So depending on what you're trying to achieve with this. So if you wanna reduce the curl in, internally, you'll cut it shorter. If you wanna maintain some curl, remember, and some length, you're gonna cut it, you need to cut it past the barrel. So hopefully that answers your question. Is it uh, Beverly? Yeah, yes. Yeah, cool. So just going back, this is my final section towards the back. And like I said, you can work with a little bit of over the, uh, sorry, I'm just cross-checking. So what you can also do, it's because I'm a little bit taller than Gabby here, what I can do is I can work over her. And by working over your client or over your model, that will one also kind of help you kind of prevent sort of rounding it off, but also prevents you from taking too much of the overall length. So kind of like just dropping out that perimeter. So. So it's looking pretty good so far. Like I said, this is just kind of like the basic, basic shape here. Because you'll see, I will fine tune it. I mean, you see, I'm gonna really kind of carve out a bit more. Uh, um, oh, Amy Moreno says, I like you. <laughs> you like me? Oh. <laughs> so cute. Uh, Beverly says thank you, and um, Ellie says, "Wow, well, I've never heard that about the curl." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, especially that works for either men with long curly hair, or if you, if or even like beards as well. As well, understanding about the curls. So, especially if there's a flick, you know, sometimes with men with longer hair, they don't like the flick. So, when you cut it, you can either make the hair go straight, or you can enhance that flick. Or you know, so you can try and create some more curl. So cool. So what I'm now gonna do, just gonna wet. I'm gonna dry this area off. Then just put a little heat protector spray. Then I will be blow drying this. So, we can be blow drying this here. Now, I'm just using a flat brush here. Is that really, like her hair, it's very, it's actually really beautiful hair to cut. It kind of just does whatever I want it to do. So at this point here, I just want to um, kind of control and just really see how the shape is like, I don't like reacting to the haircut. So but when I'm doing this, I'm kind of making sure that the, that the brush is following the shape of the head. And it's called wrap drawing. So. so yeah. So this hair color is a brand called Mood Hair Color from Italy. And uh, yeah, so it's absolutely brilliant. I love, they make beautiful coppers. And uh, this was primarily, uh, we actually just put, uh, this is actually a direct dye, which is like, you know, kind of like, like a semi-permanent coming over. So, so we kept this on for uh, probably about, uh, about 20 minutes. We had it on the head and on cleansed hair. Uh, we had to do a deep cleanser because she had some, um, 
She was decorating, she was painting her outside of the house today. And uh, it was a warm day, so she had some like, uh, you know, white paint flakes in her head. So I just used a deep cleansing shampoo and kept it on for a few minutes to kind of like, almost to get rid of some of that, that hair. So, no, sorry, that paint. Couple of questions. Yeah, cool. Uh, Jeanette Santiago says, asks, is it better to dye your hair first and then cut? Okay, it depends on the type of. Uh, it all depends. So just say if you have if you have extraordinary long hair, and you were taking it really short, and you and you know you'd be better off cutting it first and then of course coloring it. Uh, if you were just doing your roots. You know, you could just, it doesn't matter, you know, ideally. But in this case here, because it was just like an all over color, uh, even though I was doing something maybe a wee bit creative, it was okay because it was just more or less a single color. Now, sometimes if you're doing a creative haircut, then you might want to do some creative color afterwards to follow the haircut. So it all depends really. So. And then I have another question from Clemente Bell. Says, what is what? Is the brand of this black color? Uh, this is a brand called YS Park. So it's a Japanese brand. Uh, and this is, I believe you can also get this at Hairbrain Pro. So. Um, Christina says, I love your videos because you're a giver, you always share a lot. Oh, uh, thank you. I try. Mm -hmm. And it's funny, I'm not going to lie. Like, I hear, like, everyone tells me I share too much. Um, you know, I get, you know, everyone saying, no, 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 don't keep on, stop sharing so much of your knowledge. But the thing is, it's like, I, I don't know what else to do, <laughs> you know? Because uh, my main goal for all our students, for all the audience, we want you to be better than today or yesterday. We want you to be better in your craft, you know? and for a better understanding, you know? Um, that's the same thing, even Gabby, she's a teacher. She teaches like little people, you know, little little kids, and she wants them to be better each day in their lives, you know? It's the same thing, being a teacher, it's all about, I forget about myself and care more about others, and that's the thing, it's, you know? So I always say, like, my student's success is like, well, my student's success stories are like, you know, my biggest success, you know, so. Okay, so what I'm now gonna do, I'm just gonna be working, you can work a bit of slicing. So working open and closing, just to help flatten this down. If you wanna do a little bit of point cutting, you can. Now the reason why I was kinda of doing slicing, what's the difference between point cutting or slicing? Now slicing will basically, they both give texture, both take off weight, but slicing will flatten down the shape. Now because of her head shape, because of the parotid ridge, I want to kind of flatten that down. Even back here, by the occipital bone area, with that big old bit of a lump in the back, I want to kind of flatten that down. So. But if you guys want to follow for more education, please see our Instagram page, which is at Sid Salton Academy. And yeah, please, you know, give us a follow. We'll follow back. You know, we're not we're not mean like that. You know, uh, so yeah. And then if you, uh, yeah, please tag us. If you take a, a screenshot of this video, you know, we'll re repost it and share it. So please. But once again, if you have any questions, just let us know. So. So she also will be able to look tuck it behind her ear. So when she's stressed out with the kids, she could just. Tuck it behind the ear, so, or if her partner stresses her out, whatever, you know. Uh. So I just want that kind of like a freedom within the hair, you know. That's why I'm doing a bit of slicing, um, just reducing this. And then of course we have the top panel. So I'm going to take this down. I have a question. Yeah, of course. I don't know if you can reply to it now. It'll take a little while. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's not like about the haircut. But... It's not about the hair. Yeah. What is it about? Is it? Like... Um. So I'll tell you. Is, <laughs> okay. What would be the best advice to be individual and stand out to be able to be in your position as a hairdresser? Is a dream job for a lot of hairdressers. Okay. So 
like in, when you say my position, what I don't understand, like what I do for a living? Like I, they probably mean uh, an educator. Oh, it's an educator. Okay. I think. Yeah. Um, let's see. They'll, they'll probably reply. Okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, I think the thing is, how can you stand out? Because I know it's like, I think one of the biggest things I have to say, like, and um, I could be a victim to it, is like, stop comparing yourself to what we see on Instagram. You know, myself, I've always been, not like a bit of a rebel, but like, I hate doing what everyone else is doing. You know, for example, it's like, you know, when we see all the pictures of all the color, and all we see is the back of the model of the client's heads, you know, I mean, like, and we just see all that color, the waves and, you know, biolage and all that. But it's like, coloring should, like, really suit the client's skin tone. I mean, like, I always take a look and thinking, how ugly are your clients? You can't show their faces, <laughs> you know? I mean, try and, like, with your Instagram or your social media, try and be fun with it, you know? And try and do opposite things what everyone else does. And I can finally say that now because after a while, I used to always compare myself to the other hairdressers, educators, or barbers. And I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm, I'm different. I don't fit in. You know, do I need to get tattoos across my knuckles that say I'm a barber, you know? Like, do I need to do this? And I think the thing is, you know, just be your own person, you know? Do what you love to do. Now, being an educator and to stand out, the thing is just, I think the, the thing is, being, being an educator and standing out, forget about yourself. Worry about, your worry about your students, okay? Worry about your students, that's the key thing. With it, being an educator, being a teacher, you focus on your students, you know? Don't worry so much about, you know, making it big. Um, for myself, what happened was when, I guess, when I got somewhat popular, um, what happened was I had changed my life around, meaning I was, I'm a re you know, recovered alcoholic and I was, I was like full-blown alcoholism and I was on my deathbed. And when I changed my life around, when I, when I changed my life, stopped drinking, what happened was um, all of a sudden, like my life got better and better. I started, you know, I started a new business teaching and uh, what's cool, I, uh, I just started giving more and more. You know, I cared more about life. I cared more about my students. And uh, for the grace of God, it's been over nine years. So I think the thing is, it's like when you, when you give to, uh, when, you, when you fully care and give yourself as a teacher, you'll see the rewards piling up, even though when we don't realize these rewards just yet. So definitely um, best advice for making it, if you want to call it, uh, you know, I haven't made it myself, but if you want to say you're making it, um, definitely give more to your students. You know, remember, you can only be as good as the last class you taught. So um, that's a key important factor. Okay, so what I'm doing now, so just to let you know, hopefully that kind of answered that question a little bit. So I can, uh, that's like a, a forever question for an answer. I mean, I can easily talk more and more about that. But uh, yeah, so hopefully that, that kind of helped answer your question. Yes. So what I'm doing now, that's what I'm doing at the top. So I, I'm now taking sections across the head like so, okay, with maybe a tiny bit of over direction to the middle. And if you see, I'm cutting a very strong triangle shape here, okay? So going from shorter to longer. So, now I'm gonna, just say, I'm gonna show you from the, from the profile here. Basically, the reason was when I was talking to Gabby, you know, um, Gabby wanted, you know, like, you know, she wanted a shorter look, but I still want to create a bit of like, I didn't want it to be too harsh for her. Um, so that's why I kind of like, wanted like to work more internally with the layering. So, but I still wanted her to have hair. Okay, so I still wanted her to have hair. So by going from shorter to longer, Okay, she can still, you know, maintain. So you're not following any guidelines? Yes, I am. I, uh, well, I started my new guide. Okay, but I'm you like, don't have a guideline from the bottom part. 
No, not from here. Not from the... No, not at all, no. So I started a new guide, yeah, totally disconnected. And then you'll see when I do my texturizing, you'll see it might be like a visual blend, not a technical blend with my disconnection. Okay. You can see that color poking out there. I mean, mm -hmm. literally, I think it's a brilliant, brilliant co color. It looks beautiful on the screen. Oh, does it? <laughs> is it, is it really it, vibrant? Yeah, when you pull it up, cause, like, you can see the placement. Okay. And from shorter to longer. And you see my elbow. Are you, are you showing me the color there? Jen. <laughs> Jen's taking a picture of the color right now so I can see how vibrant it looks on the screen. Cool. All right. There we go. So, oh, she's looking that cute, isn't she? You know, I mean, it's a... Uh, Okay, so I can then go back over on the top, just checking, just, just going back over, take off there any existing weight there. And then you'll see, because I'm maintaining length in the front, as I take my sections across the head like so, I want to make sure I over direct back to maintain length. And then what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be blow drying this. Mm, Christina says you always have beautiful models. <laughs> well, you know, uh, it, when you have beautiful models, my haircuts look better, you know. Um, oh, Christina says I really appreciate you. If, if I was a little bit closer, I would definitely follow your courses. Oh, cool. Where do you live, Chris? Where does Christina live? Yeah, let's find out. <laughs> I forgot to mention, Gabby, you get a lot of compliments tonight during this, you know. Uh, Confidence boost. Because these, these, these videos go internationally, so uh, yeah, you're going to be, uh, you're going to have a lot of stalkers, maybe. <laughs> I forgot to mention that, too. <laughs> okay, so that's, you can see, like, what's great about working that kind of like, a, like almost a triangle shape. So when I take a look over here... So you can see this, she's got some like, you know, that because that disconnection here, I think it's gonna be like, it follows, lovely. So yeah, so we're gonna blow dry now. Like I said, I'm still gonna be doing it the exact same way. I'm not gonna go too crazy. Uh, I'm really just creating a bit more of a, a bit more of a, just like, like, I just want like softness to it. And then I might just use a texturizing spray afterwards. Just really just want that softness. Um, not going too crazy with it, so. Christina's from Romania. Oh, Romania, oh, I'm, I'll be there in um, September. Yeah, I go to Romania, I go to, uh, where, where, where am I going? I'm going to a barber show in, um, in Romania. Yeah. I can always host, uh, if you want to host uh, a seminar or a class at your salon, you know, that'd be great. And then uh, yourself could get maybe free education while, you know, we can have attendees there. So, so if anybody wants to host a class for me, wherever country you are, hey, give us a, you know, contact us. Let us know and then we can, you know, we can uh, arrange something. So, especially in America. We'll be going back, you know, Jennifer loves America, so, so she wants to go back, so. so you can see, I'm just working this. I'm actually gonna switch to a, a wider brush.
I think it's quite nice. You can see that disconnection coming over. Like I said, this hair color is from Mood Hair Color from Italy, and it's absolutely, it's absolutely lovely. I mean, that's just like, you know, direct eye. And what's great about this haircut, she could wear it either way. And that's the way I kind of want to create it. Yeah. And she's got that, she's got killer eyes. So with this color, her eyes are really standing out stronger. So I think that's the thing is, it's like what we are, like I always say, you know, let's really focus on the most important person inside the hair salon or barbershop. Who is that, guys? Who is that, everyone? Me. No, it's not you, Jen. Yeah? Guess what? It's called the returning client. And that's the key thing. That's why I want to put effort into her hair, her color, you know? I want, I want to really focus on getting, you know, Gabby to be coming back to us. You know, she is a client of the salon, so I really want to make sure she comes back to us and uh, you know, and, and loves her hair, loves the service. So, as you can see, the hair color is extraordinarily shiny. There we go. Oh, we got all that paint out of here, by the way. <laughs> well, you can see that movement. And the thing is, it's like, it kind of looks like, you know, she's got texture to her hair. It looks like she's got, you know, could be maybe for some people, it's like she's got product in her hair, but she actually doesn't. You know, just like a little light blow drying spray, nothing crazy. Christina says, are you coming in Romania to the show where Doug Palmer and Kathleen Lungu will be? Uh, no, uh, I'm doing, I think it's Bucharest, uh, where... I believe it's, um, it's Bucharest, uh, where it's a big barber show. It's called Monster Barber Show or something. So that's the one I'm, I'm doing the barber show. I mean, and that's the thing is, if you guys want, sorry, my blow dryer, I've got to bring my extension cord for the blow dryer. And so that's why it's like, if, I, if you see me kind of struggling with my blow dryer. It's only because my extension cord, uh, I, I've got to bring it, so. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to put a little, I'm going to put this little like, I want to keep this bit here. And so I'm just going to be working with the texturizing. I kind of like just want to have a bit of fun with more of the internal area. Tell me where to get a really small, like, amazing hairdryer like yours. Uh, yeah, so this one is from a company called Varus, uh, which uh, I believe is owned by Goldwell, and it's a Gamma Professional. 
So this is brilliant. I mean, it's very lightweight. Um, it's powerful. It's very powerful and, and it's very easy for me to travel with. So yeah, so it's very cool. It also comes with all the attachments, so such as nozzles and diffuser. So it's absolutely brilliant. So we've been testing it. So yeah, so it's been really, really good. Strongly recommend it. So. So I believe it's owned by the Goldwell uh, uh, company, you know, so uh, yeah. so now guys, I'm just going to be doing a little bit of point cutting. So I'm doing a full blade with my, they're 4.5 inch, so it's not very strong, like it's not very, uh, there we go. Yeah. So I just want just to see how that's falling. I'll do is I'll come this way here so you guys can see. But yeah, no, it's like absolutely been enjoying my time. So I'm a resident educator for Hairbrain. So each month I'll be doing uh, a new step-by-step -step tutorial video. Uh, we also have, you know, like I said, we have two academies in the UK. I have a barbershop in Leicester, or two barbershops in Leicester. Um, and that's with... Um, with one of my um, fellow uh, professional educators, I'm uh, sorry, professional hairdressers named Barry Stevens, where we actually have a business together in Leicester as well. Um, so I'm normally based in Edinburgh, Scotland, and where we have our own small training studio where we do more bespoke, more one-to-one -one education. And uh, so you'll see myself and Jennifer, Miss Jennifer there, and uh, Jenny V, we like to call her. And, uh, but yeah, so we have the other educators here in Nottingham. So I'm just gonna just turn this way a little bit. So you can kind of see, kind of see that shape here. So once again, just gonna do a little bit of slicing. So we also do like, you know, uh, we do a lot of in-salon training. So if you want us to come to your salon, or if you want to host a class, depending on whatever country, you know, so we travel. Uh, so like I said, we will be going back to America this year. We were just there in July, and uh, yeah, so, you know, at a fabulous hair salon in New Jersey called Metropolis uh, Salon and Spa, where the team, absolutely brilliant. And they've sent a lot of their staff to us in Edinburgh, Scotland. So they're very keen on, on pushing their staff to, the, you know, and in, in, incorporating training. So it's been absolutely brilliant working with that, uh, a, a woman called Teresa, and Teresa Carr, and she's absolutely brilliant. A great, great business owner and boss for the staff and mentors. So, uh, so that was really cool. Um, so right now, I'm actually just picking up pieces here, working a bit of slicing here. And um, like I said, I got some long bits, short bits. I really just want, you know, give a bit more of like a softer, uh, you know, softness to it. And where then, it's just like she, you know, she could do multiple different things. Cliff Martin asks, when would you use thinner scissors? Always mixed opinions. Okay, so, okay, I'm not gonna, okay, I'll be very honest with you, so, uh, great question. So with thinning scissors, I actually use that for when I'm doing barbering, when I'm blending a haircut. So just say, I, if I wanna lighten up the color of the fade, I might use blending of thinning scissors. Or if I'm doing an old school pompadour, which is, looks very solid, and I just want to kind of take weight off in a way, but still keep a solid shape, I'll use thinning scissors. If I want texture, if I want plenty of movement, I'll then either use slicing, or you'll see I will be, if I can find it, uh, I'm gonna be using my hair cutting razor, okay? So, or you can use your, almost uh, some people in America call it chunkers, where you might use your texturizer scissors. That's my opinion, that's, or this is just a suggestion for you. So I like to have little guidelines for when I'm cutting hair, what tools I'm using. Some people don't like thin scissors, okay? But that's their opinion, all right? There's multiple different ways to create something. So, uh, but thinning scissors, blend, I call them blending scissors because that's primarily what I use them for. So you can do a little bit depending what you're trying to achieve. So remember, there's no such thing as a bad tool. The only time it's bad is when you don't use it correctly. So, I mean, how I see it as when we take a look at artwork, you know, an artist, 
we have Andy Warhol, Jackson Pollock, and then we might have, um, let's see, uh, Picasso. So Jackson Pollock used to do a drip painting technique. Warhol used to do like a screen press type of technique. You know, uh, Picasso used to use a paintbrush. So those are three famous artists, but they all use different ways to color, I'm oh, sorry, to, to do painting. Who's right or who's wrong, right? So, and that's the thing, you know, um, I do strongly believe that. So yeah, so I'm just gonna be using, I just wanna make sure my, I did change the blade. So I'm just going to be just taking some more weight off throughout here. There go. Now normally you can do this, like, you know, I'm only doing a small bit just to show you guys. So I'm actually using just more going in vertical to reduce more weight. If I want to still kind of keep some heaviness, I might go more horizontal with my razor. Christina says, I think you could cut just using a broken glass. Oh, <laughs> Nothing emoji. I've done that before. <laughs> I've done that in my dark years, I've done that. I want to flatten that down a little bit here. Ooh, is anyone still watching? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Wicked. Still 60 people watching. Oh, wicked. Cool. Cool. So, we'll be finishing up very soon. So, just want to kind of really say a big thank you for all of you still watching. Uh, a big, of course, thank you to uh, Jenny V uh, for doing the filming and answering all the questions. And of course, last but not least, you know, we got Gabby here. So without her hair, uh, we wouldn't be here today. So thank you, Gabby. Cliff and um, Martin asks if you would use your razor for complete haircut. Yeah, you can, but I would actually probably use, um, if you give me a moment there, Cliff. Dropping everything out. I should have closed it before. I mean, this is like getting comical now. Uh, I would actually use uh, my hair cutting razor from, which is another feather one, but this one here has a comb attachment, and this one is actually used for actually cutting. I probably would do the whole haircut with this one from wet to dry. With this one here, I'm just fine tuning it just to create texture to the hair. So. This, uh, you, could both, you could get both these razors at hairbrain um, or pro me. So. It's gonna take me an hour to clean up the mess I just made. Uh, so yeah. So you can see just that bit of like texture here. Well, that's quite nice though. It's like I didn't like really have to use a lot of product to like create this type of shape here. So Cliff Martin says thank you. Yeah, hopefully that answered your question there, Cliff. She looks dead cute, doesn't she? I mean, I'm really, really excited. And I'm so grateful I got a chance to do her hair there, so. Once again, this is um, a brand of color called Mood Hair Color from Italy. And I'm absolutely in love with it. So uh, it's absolutely brilliant. So uh, really pleased, really pleased. Um, 
um, for products for this. Mm -hmm. um, I nice. probably pomade. Yeah, um, I wouldn't say use pomade because that might be a little bit. I probably would use more of like a spray uh, wax or um, like a texture spray. So depending on what you're trying to create. Um, so I think it's you know you could do that a little hairspray, a little styling powder. You know, it, it, it all depends really what you're trying to achieve. Um, you know, if you want a matte finish. I mean, there's a lot of different ways to, to style this. You can do more of a sleek look, and that would maybe use styling gel, maybe pomade. Uh, you can. Uh, with this, I want to give lots of cool texture. Uh, so I want to enhance the texture. So ideally, you know, really just kind of like, by having that texture, really just like, I might use like a texturizing spray or like a spray wax. So that will help, um, you know, really give that type of enhancement to the hair. Okay, just finishing up here. Just reducing some of the weight. So now, uh, I really kind of just want to flatten this down a tiny bit there. So that's why I'm going a bit more horizontal with my razor so I'm not trying to do um, I don't want to like I still want that texture but I also want to try and control so and um, Cliff Martin asks would you texture as much for a salon client for these six week visits for example yeah fine depending on the hair the hair itself if um you know it's like if it's extraordinary extraordinary thick hair you gotta take the weight off so, you know, if it, you know, just and especially if you want to last six months, uh, six weeks. Ideally, you want it to last maybe six to eight weeks. So, now one of the key things is when you judge, seeing how good of a hair cutter you are. When you're cutting hair, you know, really see, imagine on how that hair is going to grow out in six weeks' time, and that will tell you if you need to add a little more texturizing or not. So, I mean, right now, I'm kind of really moving the hair, kind of playing around here. I mean, she's, she's got that little bit of, you know, I'm just kind of just taking a little more weight off behind the ear. like a little bit of weight there and then uh, yeah there we go cool right, just uh, let me close my head for a second someone's commented to don't try and plant your tools but they grow back on the floor I know <laughs> <It's> <laughs> can we just blow the hair off of Gabby here And I'm going to take one last look at my scissors, and then we're going to just put a little styling product. And then what I'll do is I'll recap about everything. Okay, so. So just, just want to give a little more, set them more of a pick me up. So I'm just doing free hand point cutting. I'll write in the. If you can. I'll reply in your comment the brand. It's really cool. Like I said, it's like we're, we're, Jen. Jen is trying I to steal it. Trying to steal it. I mean, it's like, there's so many blow dryers, I've used so many blow dryers there. It's like, this one's something that doesn't break, you know, but as I'm getting older, like, I have, I use this one more for traveling, 
and it's really lightweight and but super powerful. So it's great for when I do seminars and shows, uh, when we travel and everything. So it packs easily in my suitcase or, or my, actually my kid bag. Um, I'm saying it looks beautiful and um, where is it? Like the Mary Quant hairstyle. Mary Quant? Ooh. Just using a spray wax, so. Okay, I'm just piecing out these bits. Lovely. And Jacqueline saying artistry in its finest form. Oh, <laughs> that's very nice of everyone. So, yeah, I think she looks that cute. You know, I mean, it's just like it's like sexy and playful at the same time. And uh, but I think, especially being a redhead, I think it's that that really kind of like uh, powerful, like you know, look there. So. Brush. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So I can like what I really want to do is just, like spend more time styling it, but I think. Very nice. This could be in the front of the uh, front cover of a magazine. Oh, thank you. Jacqueline saying raw talent and Cliff Martin's lovely haircut and thanks, thanks for the advice. Too. Oh, cool. I mean, I think. Thank you. I mean, it's been such a a pleasure being here on Hairbrains. and uh, to be able to actually, you know, to be able to cut. Uh, her hair, you know, absolutely lovely. So yeah, okay everyone, so as I'm, as I'm finishing up here, so just gonna do a slight little recap. So I started off the haircut, so I did do a disconnection going around so I can offset little horseshoe panel. And what I did was I worked with vertical sections on the back and sides, on both sides, and I really kicked out my fingers. So I went from shorter in the internal and kept the external longer. Then on the top, what I did was, I worked with, if you see, a very strong triangle shape. Triangle shape here, meaning going from shorter here, going keeping it longer here, going from shorter to longer. And I just took sections following, vertical sections, so the sections were going this way. And then, so the shape I created was shorter to longer. So yeah, so definitely, and like I said, just using a bit of like a heat defender spray, and I just used a bit of spray wax just to help kind of give that texture, and you know, play around with it. So I literally just kind of kept her overall perimeter, and just really took off a lot of the weight in the internal. So yeah. Mm. All right, everyone. So if you have any last minute questions before I sign up, some comments. Jeremy McCarthy saying the cut is adorable, she looks terrific. Jacqueline Bailey saying mesmerizing to watch absolute her magic. Christina saying thank you, sending lots of hot emojis. Oh. And yes, that's it for now, yeah. Great, so 
Thank you very much everyone and a big thank you to Hairbrain, especially Gerard and Amy and everyone. So uh, thank you very much and uh, really very grateful to be able to share with you uh, my strength, my hope and experience with my knowledge of doing hair. So we shall see you next month with myself and yeah, just dro drop us uh, a topic in the, uh, in the comment section and please follow us on Sid Sartoni Academy on Instagram. You know, if you follow us, we'll follow you back. And, uh, you know, please take a screenshot of this video and, you know, post it and, you know, tag us in it. All right, everyone. Big thank you to Jenny V. Thank you very much for being our favorite camera person in the world. Thank you. And a big thank you to Gabby. All right, everyone. Thank you very much.